Welcome to What Gear Reviews for another camera comparison shootout and today I'm in Berlin at the Berlin Wall and it's quite fitting really because I think this video is going to divide people when it comes to which one's winning and this one is the Huawei P30 Pro versus the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus the day segment and if you missed the night segment I'll add the thumbnail at the end of this video to that so you can go check out which one of these does better at night time and if this is the first time you're finding me consider subscribing for more videos like this anyway you ready let's go So if you guys don't know me already, welcome to the channel and I want you to know I respect your opinions so if you disagree with anything I say in this video, leave me a comment and I will certainly read it. Also if you're new to the channel, just want to make you aware that at time to time throughout this video there will be polls up in the top right corner where you see that blue spinning thing and that will be an opportunity for you to vote on which one is winning. And also before we begin, I should mention all the photos taken in this video were shot with the AI modes on on both phones. Anyway, this is picture one, a regular selfie using the regular camera mode. The main differences here that I see is that the Note 10 Plus does a great job of HDR and delivers a really nice skin tone. And the Huawei P30 Pro has a much wider field of view and also delivers a great picture. And what's funny about these two photos is I don't think I was that tanned as the Note 10 Plus is showing and I don't think I was that pale as the P30 Pro is showing. Anyway, I've made my decision on which one I like and I've voted in the poll in the top right corner. So if you wanna know what I voted for, cast your own vote and you'll be able to see. Picture two, it's the infamous Berlin Wall. This image ticks quite a few boxes you can see how the devices handle HDR in the clouds in the sky. You can also see the color science of the two devices on the graffiti on the wall, as well as textures on the wall and on the ground. I think again, when it comes to HDR, maybe the Samsung wins, but when it comes to color accuracy, I believe the P30 Pro seems to be a bit more accurate. And the reason I say this is because when I was standing there, I don't remember the concrete on the ground being so orange as the Note 10 Plus photo is showing. Also, the graffiti had been there for a while, so it was a little bit faded, and the Samsung AI is really boosting up the color saturation, which is not necessarily a bad thing. I guess it just depends on what you like. When it comes to textures and fine details delivered on both devices, they are really close. And I'm interested to hear what you think about these two images. Let me know in the comments below, and let's move on to picture three. It's a German motorbike, a Creedler. Now, I don't know a lot about motorbikes, but I do know one thing, this one is green. And it caught my eye when I was walking down the street. So let's compare the green color on the bike first. You'll notice the color saturation on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus is a bit higher. Also you'll notice it's adjusted the contrast, which is giving the image a deeper black level and much brighter highlights on the concrete. Now on the P30 Pro image, I think generally speaking, it seems to be delivering a more natural color and a more natural looking image without compromising the details too much. If you take a look at the tire tread on the front wheel, you'll see what I mean. And also the details on the concrete underneath the bike are quite a bit different on the two photos. Before we move on, just take one quick look behind the bike at the tarmac on the road on both photos and see what you think. Picture four, so this was shot using portrait mode on both devices, the Galaxy Note 10 Plus and the Huawei P30 Pro. In hindsight, portrait probably wasn't the best setting to use and I've done a better blurry background shot later in this video, so stick around for that. Anyway, this is a great image for you guys to see the differences in color and sharpness when shooting in portrait mode at fairly close range. Now for this one, it's so close that I don't really want to comment. Instead, I'll just place a vote up in that top right corner in the poll. And once you do the same, you'll be able to see what I voted for. I really want to leave this one down to you guys. So make sure you vote. Now, let's take a little walk down the Berlin Wall and do some side-by-side -side video comparison.
So which one did better in the video test? Let me know, cast a vote, and let's move on to pitch five, a proper portrait mode shot. And this one is a German Buddha. So just to make this really clear, both photos were shot from the same spot. And let's address the huge difference first. The way the two devices deliver portrait photos, AKA blurry background photos, are completely different. The Note 10 Plus immediately punches in quite a bit, which can be quite inconvenient at times if you're really close to what you're trying to take a photo of, but it worked well here. You'll notice it actually delivers an amazing amount of blur. And let's not forget some of the features the Samsung has as well, like being able to adjust the blur afterwards and change the style of the blur and even turn the background black and white. Now, before anybody gets mad at me, the P30 Pro has a bunch of tricks up its sleeve as well, which are very similar to the Samsung. But we can get into that in another video. If you want to see it, let me know in the comments below. So the P30 Pro photo, interestingly, has more color this time. The saturation is definitely a bit higher. It's capturing a much wider shot, which I really like the look of in this particular image. In terms of background blur, it's not quite as blurry as the Samsung. So that's a win for the Samsung there. However, the P30 does have another trick in hindsight. I maybe should have used it for this image. It's got an aperture mode where you can actually adjust the blur quite a lot more and I'm sure I could have mimicked the amount of blur similar to what the Samsung's delivering using that mode. But this is a portrait side-by-side -side comparison. So I think it was fair to use the actual setting. So now the question for you is, if you had to pick one of these images, I know they're different in terms of the viewpoint, which one would you pick? Which one do you think would do better on Instagram? Picture six. So while I was wandering around Berlin, I stumbled into this art shop quite literally, because I'd had a few beers and I was like, this shop looks cool. So I walked in there and I found this awesome piece of art which caught my eye, so I took a photo for you. Now, I'm not sure exactly what the AI on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus was doing when it saw this one. I'm assuming it couldn't make up its mind and then it actually chose not to do anything at all. The shop was quite gloomy, it was quite dark, and you can see on the walls, it's kind of orangey. There was a bit of backlight behind me. That's why you can see the shadow there at the bottom of the picture. I think actually this is quite an accurate image, even though the whites look quite orange. The way I remember it in that light setting, it was quite dark, so it's pretty accurate. Now the P30 on the other hand has done something completely different with this AI. It's actually corrected the white balance. So the white on the wall behind the image is actually properly white. And what this is gonna do in turn is actually correct the colors as well. So you're kind of seeing a picture as it would be if it was in a really well lit environment. Two completely different results here. I really do like the P30 picture here, but if you're the type of person that likes the natural look, then you might go with the Samsung. Let me know what you think. Use the poll up in the top right corner to vote. So now, cast your eyes on these next few photos. I'm gonna stay quiet. Let me know what you think about these next few images. And then after that, we're gonna move on to some lens tests. So here's a photo taken on the primary lens. And keep an eye on the Berlin Tower right there in the background. That's gonna be our point of focus for this comparison. The two cameras are incredibly close here. It's really too close to call, to be honest. There are some slight differences, but I have to call this one a draw. Now let's test the optical zoom on both devices. Okay, so here is where the P30 Pro is showing off. However, the Note 10 Plus with its two times optical zoom retains amazing details and colors. And maybe Samsung just didn't want to push the limitations of their sensor too much and kept it in a safe zone where the image quality is still very strong. And that's not to say the P30 Pro is compromising its quality with a zoom lens. It's actually very, very good. And I think it's the differences in sensor technology that allow for this. Now, maximum zoom. So this is where we push it to the limits. The Note 10 Plus is actually quite impressive at its maximum zoom especially considering it doesn't have a periscope lens like the P30 Pro. But now, look at the P30 Pro image with the periscope lens. That is just insane. That tower was so far away and the fact that this could get in so close is crazy. Yes, it's not super sharp, but that's still incredibly impressive to me. What do you guys think about the results on the two different lenses? So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick camera comparison on these two devices. I want you to know that I wasn't paid by Samsung or Huawei to make this video, so you got a really unbiased video from me. And if you wanna check out how these two cameras compare at night, 
There's a thumbnail on screen right now. If you click that, you'll see the night comparison in Berlin on these two phones. And if you just subscribed, you're now one of the finest subscribers known to man. And I'll see you in the next one. Don't be late.